The color red and performance have an unmistakable bond. Now in the world of motorcycles, the color red, it belongs to Ducati. And unless you have been living under a rock, you'd know that Ducati has been at the forefront of cutting edge technology for motorcycles for a while now. Testament to that is MotoGP. For the last few years now, Ducati has been winning the constructor's title without much competition. The 2022 MotoGP World Championship was won by a Ducati. The top three title contenders for the 2023 championship are all so Ducatis. Heck, even Marquez is planning to join Ducati. And here, in our very first Bharat GP, Marco Bezecchi steered his 2022 Desmo Sirici GP to the top step of the podium. And even the second step on the podium was occupied by his stablemate Jorge Martin. But now that is the top tier of performance, the creme de la creme. But what about us mere mortals? Welcome to the Evo India channel and Karan from 10 years back cannot just believe what is happening. Three Ducatis and a runway all to myself. Now you may be wondering why I started with MotoGP. That's because you and I can get a bike, not just one bike but a few bikes that have an engine that has been derived from a MotoGP bike. Shocked? Let me explain. The Desmo Sirigi Stradale, a 90 degree V4 engine, sits bang in the center of the Panigale V4. Now, in my opinion, along with the MotoGP bikes, that Panigale V4 is also best enjoyed in the closed confines of a track. But there is still plenty left for us to enjoy, and that's exactly what we are going to be looking at. The Street Fighter V4 essentially uses the same engine that is found on the Panigale V4, the Desmo Sirigi Stradale. Then there is the Multistara V4. Ducati did away with the L twin engine and put in a V4 engine. And that V4 engine is called the Gran Turismo V4. And that again has been derived from the Desmos Ricci Stradale. So it has a few changes to make it more robust and more appealing for a long distance rider. And that's exactly why it does duties over there. But Ducati didn't stop there. After that, there is this, the muscle bruiser as we all like to call it, the Diavel V4, which again gets the same engine, the V4 Gran Turismo, but again in a different state of tune to make it suit that characteristic. So three bikes, three very different flavors, but a very similar engine. Welcome to this celebration of Ducati and welcome to the Evo India channel. Let's start with the Street Fighter V4 because off the lot, the purpose of this bike is the closest to that of the GP bikes. To set a racetrack and even the streets on fire. To that end, this naked bike uses the same Desmo Sirici Stradale engine and is in essence a Panigale without the fairing. It's just as brutal if not more and makes a staggering 200 plus bhp. What happens when you have a bike that puts out 205 Italian horses, weighs 201 kilos with a full tank of gas, and you crack the throttle wide open and dump the clutch? Well, even an atheist will start believing in God, that's for sure. The sheer brutality with which the Street Fighter V4 launches off the line and the way it adds digits to the speedometer is something I've yet to experience on another motorcycle. You're in the elements, there's no wind protection, just the biplane wings and the counter-rotating crankshaft working over time in tandem with the electronics to make sure that you don't begin rotating off the center of your rear wheel, take off and reach escape velocity. The Street Fighter V4 uses largely the same chassis setup as the Panigal V4, endowing it with race bike levels of handling, fully adjustable suspension, an airbox that is a part of the frame keeping everything taut, and what in my opinion is the most important of all, the Brembo Stilema brakes. The Street Fighter V4 is an ethereal riding experience, one that is not only a test of your skill, but also of the weight of the stones in the lower quadrant of your body. But unlike Ducatis of yesteryear, it is actually usable and relatively easy to ride at 5 tenths. Then comes the Multistrada V4. After the Street Fighter V4, Ducati took the Desmo Sirici Stradale and reworked it with the sole purpose of making an engine that is capable of traversing continents effortlessly. Called the Gran Turismo V4, this engine made its debut with the Multistrada V4 and that also marked the shift of the ADV bike from the L-twin engine setup to the V4 setup. This engine took the Multistrada to a whole new tier. The shift to the V4 engine makes the bike so much easier to use and that much more versatile. The Multistrada V4 has become a proper globetrotter now, the kind that allows you to wake up in a new country every day. Such is the pace you can maintain with this Multistrada V4. 
Now, the Desmo Sirigi Stradale, it underwent some major changes to become the Gran Turismo V4, the primary of which is the omission of the iconic Desmodromic valves to a more traditional spring-actuated valve setup in the cylinder head. With that, Ducati has managed to increase the valve clearance service interval to 60,000 km. So, in theory, you could start your journey and circumnavigate the world without needing any major service. Compared to the Desmo Sirigi Stradale, the V4 Gran Turismo has been bored out by 2mm and now has an 83mm bore. Thus, the displacement is up by 55cc and this V4 Gran Turismo displaces 1158cc compared to the 1103cc that the Desmo Sirigi Stradale displaces. Compared to the Panigale and the Street Fighter, the Gran Turismo V4 makes a more modest 168bhp and 125Nm of torque, giving it all the oomph you'd need to rack up those miles. Despite being a large, almost 250kg tourer, the Multistrada V4 is a sharp handler, one that you'd almost call nimble. It loves the corners and looks best in this shade of red. If I had a gun to my head under the claws to keep a single bike garage, this would be it. Although to be honest, I'd probably have to be the one holding the gun to someone else's head to be able to get one. This big bruiser is the latest to receive the V4 treatment. The big L twin engine was swapped for the Gran Turismo V4. The Diavel seems like the last place you'd expect to see an engine derived from a MotoGP bike. But here we are and I couldn't be happier about it. While the engine is the same as the one on the Multistrada V4, it is in a slightly different state of tune, one that will better suit the character of the Diavel. To that end, at 166 bhp, it makes a little less power, but it also makes a little more torque with a rated 126 Nm of it. With the introduction of the V4 engine, the Diavel doesn't feel as wild as the previous one, but it certainly feels faster and more refined. The power delivery is butter smooth. And contrary to what you might think, the bike is also fairly tractable, very unlike other Ducatis. Even on the handling front, this is a buck car Ducati. It of course isn't going to run laps around sport bikes, but for what it is, it is quite the handler. Ducati has managed to get the center of gravity lower, which in turn means the bike hides its heft very, very well. Even at slower speeds, the Diavel feels very manageable and the 790mm seat height coupled with the ease of maneuverability makes it accessible for riders of all size. As with all other Ducatis, its performance is not the only thing trying to kill you. So are its looks. Now you must be wondering what the whole point of this video is. Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's to showcase how that one engine in different applications in different motorcycles feels so different. It offers a unique riding experience in each kind of motorcycle while remaining familiar to the rider. So with the Street Fighter V4, you're getting this all out mental rabbit package. One that offers proper superbike levels of performance and feeling, but in a street friendly naked motorcycle. Then you have this, the Multistrada V4. With that Gran Turismo V4, engine, it becomes such an effortless mile muncher. You can munch miles at absolute speed while staying extremely cushioned and comfortable. Then you have the Diavel V4, which is just an all-out brute and it keeps a big grin plastered on your face while you're painting the town red. Well, this bike is black, but it does paint the town red because it does have that inherent Ducati DNA. And that's what all three of these motorcycles have. They are fast, they're extremely agile, they handle very well. And despite all of that, they really set the benchmark for all the classes that they belong to. Now the real question that's left is which one you're choosing.